I see that uh, you're a longtime union member. Yes. 31 years. And if Barack Obama gets in as president, one of the pieces of legislation that he's going to introduce, and he's made no secret that, is removing the secret ballot. How do you feel about that when there's a vote up um, going anonymously or, or revealing the name of the voting members? He's made it clear that they will remove the secret ballot so they know who's voting for who. And as a long-time union member, I'm sure you've got some thoughts about that. Yes, I do. Uh, secret ballots is there for a reason, for your own personal benefit. And I believe that's the way it should stay. And I oppose it 100%. Very good. Uh, along with that, I recognize the extensive experience you have as a plumber, and I'm just... I don't do side work. Oh, I see. Uh, can you put in perspective of whether or not you know of any plumbers that own their own companies and also over 250,000 a year. Obama, Obama's tax. Joe, 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 I'll bring that up. Uh, as a plumber, I worked for 31 years and I retired. Uh, I made a decent living. At least I, I'll talk loud. I made a decent living. Uh, nowhere near $100,000 a year. Now let me let me continue. Um, I was not in business for myself. My father was at one time. Uh, back in those days, uh, that kind of those kind of figures weren't around. Today, a small businessman very probably does earn more than two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars. Whether it be a plumber, any, any small business, you know they're in business to make money. Now, what their bottom line is, I couldn't tell you. But yes, your question was, do people make small business to make more than $250,000? Are they going to be taxed? Yes. yes. And is it going to hurt them and yes. us? Yes. There's a difference between my roads and that. Yes. Yes, they'll be taxed. All right. I, uh, sorry, I'm trying to operate both of these at the same time. Um, there we go. All Open right. Put the mic down. I like the camera better. All right. <laughs> um, I'm not too familiar with it, but um, I know that there's a county gun range. Um, out there, I think it's like Maze Landing, Summers Point Road, but I'm not positive. And I just wanted to know, like, in terms of your record, I honestly don't know. Um, have you done anything, and will you do anything to increase uh, citizen access to the county gun range uh, in terms of you know both their hours that they're able to go there, as well as the services provided, so that way um, citizens who want to and you know are able to within the law um, are able to exercise their Second Amendment rights. Okay, I'll answer your question with this is the first time I've uh, had anybody ask me to do something like that. I'm familiar with the gun range. I don't know its operating hours, who's allowed to use it, who's not allowed to use it. You have my email, I believe you have my phone number also. If you call me, I can discuss it with you, get your full view, and then I can sit down and work on it. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, one thing, uh, both my sons are going out of business. My one son just went out of business because uh, he can't compete with uh, people who hire illegal aliens. And uh, I said, well, why don't you become like them? I'll find out how they do it. You know, working as comp, he had to get, the worst thing is he had to get rid of his uh, employees. So now he's got more people out of work. They're not paying any taxes. I said, I said, look at the bright side. I said, now you can start working for yourself. You don't have to be working for the state anymore. You know, I mean, if you follow the law, you can't, you can't stay in business anymore. Because all the legal aliens, it's not being racist or nothing. It's destroying the people that want to have a business. They can't compete with people that get paid cash under the table. They don't pay no taxes. And my sons my sons are broken hard because they're going out of business just because of that. You know, what what, what are we going to do about it? Nobody, nobody seems to want to even talk about it. I will say this. Anybody that goes to somebody to go to work, whether they be an illegal alien, um, uh, a person like myself, whatever, the employer is responsible. They are the ones that need to be looked at, and they, by law, to stop doing whatever they're doing. 
Thank you very much.